Okay, everybody. Uh, it's been a little bit since I posted anything. Uh, mainly that's because I've been working on our project with my buddy. Um, and I did uh, post a little bit about that. But uh, I was also waiting for these things to come in. Uh, these are called pogo pins. And uh, they're basically made for the um, electrical industry to do like... Uh, quick testing of circuit boards and stuff so what they do they make a uh, you know something that they needed to provide power or get signal on they'd make a jig that went over the circuit board and then they'd have all these things wired up and then they would just lower down and touch the, the surface so um, I was kind of looking for something like this and uh, found that this is pretty much like the perfect thing for a uh, CNC contactor too because it's spring loaded it has a little over a quarter of an inch of travel it's like 0.3 inches of travel and it's something that uh, you know so if, if the mill over the you know, moment, momentum carries it a little bit farther than what it should it won't damage the uh, the pogo pin um, the other thing is that it does have a nice hard stop on the end so it should be very repeatable um, let me see if I can show this to you a little bit better here. There is, um, oh, it's very simple. There's a, a pressed cylinder, a pressed ring in the indentation in there, and there's a corresponding uh, depression in the diameter in the silver pin, and then a spring at the back. And these are designed to maintain electrical conductivity, which is, you know, another really good thing. You can get them in a variety of sizes. I chose to get them in about, uh, I think they're about 1.3 inches long. Um, and uh, so I think they should work good. Um, my, my idea basically is to use this on the, uh, use this to contact the um, carriages, just like we do when we do Z-homing. Um, it's a fairly accurate way to do things. Um, and the nice thing about this machine is that every piece of metal in the structure is grounded. So um, I only need to have like a, a, a plus 5 volt signal on here with a uh, uh, pull up resistor and I can make an effective switch with just by contacting it anywhere on the system. Um, so to get that into the system I bought some of these nylon um, nylon screws, machine screws, they're quarter twenty and what I'm going to do is just bore a hole through the uh, middle of this thing and then glue it in um, and before I glue it in I'll, I'll solder a wire obviously to the end of this thing and uh, that would be my signal car carrier path and uh, so then what I'm going to do is mount these things up under here and allow um, my cart to contact them on the underneath and that has an advantage because it gets the the sensor out of the way so that you have less chance of bumping it when you're working uh, kind of protect it a little bit so uh, the other nice thing is that the screw is going to provide micro adjust ability so that I can square my gantry easily um, as well so uh, that's the plan um, try and work on that today. I don't know how far I'll get, but uh, uh, give it a shot and see how it goes. So uh, I'll, I'll post again when the thing is up and running, I guess. So thanks. Bye.